Okay, one last thing with circles for the moment. You will be happy to know we'll be coming back to them later. There's our circle. Now, any line we draw across the circle, doesn't matter where it is, is called a chord. Okay, the diameter is a special chord that goes through the centre of the circle, cuts it exactly in half. But any line from one side to the other, other than that diameter, is just a plain old normal chord. And that splits the circle up into two segments. A larger and a smaller segment. Okay, and working out the area of one of these segments is not the easiest thing in the world. Basically, we need to think about it. What we've got, we can look at it here. We've got this sector, which we worked out how to we looked at how to work out in the, the lesson just gone. So what we need to do, we need to work out the area of the sector. So we know the size of this angle. Okay? So we know that this angle, in this case, let's say it's 140 degrees. Okay. So we do 140 divided by 360 times by the area. So we work out the area of this whole sector. And then we need to take away the area of this triangle here. You can see we've got an isosceles triangle here. Okay, and how do we work out the area of a triangle? It's a half the base times the height. Now we don't have the base or the height given to us. We just know the radius. Okay, so this is something you're going to have to just probably come back to because we haven't gone over how to work out the different sides of these triangles yet. But basically, you just need to take look at it. There's a triangle there. You take that away, the area of that triangle. So the area of the triangle. So it's the area of the sector, which is this, minus the area of the triangle will give you the area of the sector. Okay, it's basic problem solving. You can see that straight away. And then if you need to, once you've worked out the area of this sector, all you need to do is take that away from the area of the entire circle in order to get the area of the big sector. Okay, we'll come back. I'll put some of these questions in with the later questions on the triangles for you to practice, but just thought it was worth mentioning this now when we're talking about circles. So you had it in your head.